him to be there when it breaks. I've always wanted to write a big family play. Um, but I think I'm like at a point in my life at an age where the parents keep asking about grandchildren. And I looked around at all of my uh, cousins, which um, were very close. And I realized that the youngest cousins are approaching their mid-30s and none of us have any children. It's about a Filipino-American family and the extended family, but I related to it because I think it's universal, just families, you know, relating the way that, the way that families and, and extended families relate when they get together. Um, at the heart of the play, the protagonist is, in fact, a white woman. She goes through some a series of very traumatic experiences um, and uh, begins to feel like her identity is taken away from her as the family um, starts to see her as um, an extension of them rather than an individual. Um, and it's very interesting to see this fa Filipino first generation family and all their hopes for the family line continuing, laying within essentially what you could call America. She meets a wonderful uh, little Filipino woman uh, who's pregnant at the beginning of the play named Samagita. And Samagita begins to become an island of safety for her, a place where she can find peace. The one who comes with more joy and hope instills that in the other one. And I think that's beautiful. I kind of um, become this third party in their marriage, like like Madison finds an emotional connection with me that she's been having trouble finding with her husband. Um, or not that she's been having trouble finding it, but for some reasons, which I won't tell you, um, it has been lost from her marriage with uh, her husband, Freddie, who is also Filipino. Is as she sort of becomes drawn to an, this this woman Sambagita, um, her husband begins. Uh, it changes the dynamic between her and her husband, and because the dynamic changes, um, her husband has to start acting in ways that aren't usual in the relationship. I think that, in a lot of ways, Freddie symbolizes a, a lot of Filipino American struggle with the dichotomy of being Filipino American and and being from two worlds, from being from the Philippines and then having to live in America. There's, there's such an interesting dynamic of having to balance between the two. And I think in the play, Boney definitely, um, definitely writes a wonderful balancing act. It's about how the American dream either is very fulfilling or it really has failed you. I want the bottom line to be like, people are just like voyeurs in this like very real kind of situation with this family gathering. There's maybe like two or three family gatherings throughout the play. Um, and out of that comes, you know, all of the comedy and drama. Because I, I think it, theater is best when it has both, and this does. And uh, it doesn't have to be one or the other. And Boney is so good at having both going on at the same time. Thank you.